Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've recorded the full Infosys Springboard HTML5 assessment with all the correct answers. If you're taking this assessment soon and want to pass it easily, this video will be super helpful. I'll show you all 35 questions along with the correct options so you can quickly review and prepare for your own test. Make sure to watch till the end and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends who are also preparing. Before we get into the questions, here's a quick heads up. When you start the assessment, you'll see some warnings on your screen, like not switching tabs and keeping your screen in full screen mode. Make sure to follow those instructions seriously. If you switch tabs or exit full screen, your test might automatically stop, and you could fail the assessment. So stay focused, don't multitask, and keep everything full screen until the test is done. All right, without any further delay, Let's jump straight into the Infosys Springboard HTML5 assessment and get started with the question. Question 1. Jack, a web designer, is assigned a task to design a day picker that picks only weeks. Which among the following is the correct line of code? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A. Option B. Option C, option D. The correct answer is option B. That's let us move to the next question. Question two, look at the below code snippet for creating a form input field that should accept only even numbers. Which of the following attributes can be used to ensure the above requirement? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, max equals even. Option B, min equals even. Option C, step equals 2. Option D, value equals 2. The correct answer is option C, step equals 2. Let's move to the next question. Question 3. Sam, a front-end developer, has to modify an existing web page. One of his requirements is to add heading for a table containing employee data. Which element he should use to achieve the same? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, H1. Option B, header. Option C, caption. Option D, heading. The correct answer is option C, caption. Let's move to the next question. Question four, John, a web developer wants to ensure that his web page will get listed by the search engines. Which among the following HTML elements will help him to achieve this? Choose two best options. Option A, title element. Option B, body element. Option C, meta element. Option D, section element. The correct answer is option A and option C, title and meta element. Let's move to the next question. Question five. A web designer is modifying an existing web page. The current page contains below HTML. He wants to create navigation link structure for above code. Which container element should he use? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, nav map element. Option B, div element. Option C, nav element. Option D, map element. The correct answer is option C, nav element. Let's move to the next question. Question six. Look at the below code. What will be output when the above code is rendered in the browser? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, world. Option B, hello. Option C, hello world. Option D, no output due to incorrect markup. The correct answer is option A, world. Let's move to the next question. Question seven, which of the below is a secure way of embedding http colon slash slash mywebapp.com in your web application using HTML iframe? Option A, option B, option C, option D. The correct answer is option B. So let's move to the next question. Question eight. Look at the below code snippet. 
Both input elements are mandatory fields. Which attribute of the form input elements can be used to accomplish this? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, validate. Option B, required. Option C, form validate. Option D, placeholder. The correct answer is option B, required. Let's move to the next question. Question nine. The web page has to display the below line as part of the web page content. Select the right option. In HTML, tag is used to introduce a line break in the page content. Option A. It is not possible to display HTML tags in web page content. Option B. In HTML, tag is used to introduce a line break in the page content. Option C. In HTML, tag BR is used to introduce a line break in the page content. Option D. In HTML, tag and ITBR end first is used to introduce a line break in the page content. The correct answer is option D. Let's move to the next question. Question 10. Tim. A front-end developer is working on an online gaming web application. In his application, he wants to suggest suitable games for people of different ages. For this, he wants to use a range, slider with validation that age should be between 18 and 60 years. Which of the below input element is correct? Option A. Option B. Option C. Option D. The correct answer is option A. Let's move to the next question. Question 11. Susan is working on web page creation using HTML where she wants to render content in a web page with double space between words. Which of the below will help her to achieve this requirement? Option A. It is not possible to add more than one space between the words in HTML web document. Option B, add to introduce spaces between the words. Option C, add and non-breaking space to introduce spaces between the words. Option D, add two spaces between words in HTML web document. The correct answer is option B, add to introduce spaces between the words. Let's move to the next question. Question 12. Look at the below code. It plays a video file only once. In order to play a video indefinitely, which of the below video element should replace existing video element? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The correct answer is Option C. Let's move to the next question. Question 13. Consider the below line of code in HTML. Which of the below HTML attribute must be used along with the tag to make the above code secure to prevent security attacks? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, rel equals no opener reverted. Option B, content security policy equals no opener. Option C, sandbox. Option D, sandbox equals allow script. The correct answer is option A rel equals no opener, no opener. Let's move to the next question. Question 14. In order to get below the style of an unordered list, which of the following is the correct line of code? Option A, type circle. Option B, type disk. Option C, type round. Option D, type dot. The correct answer is option A, type circle. Let's move to the next question. Question 15. Miss Anne, a web designer is assigned a task to design a web page with a text field which should display a message, enter username to the user until the user clicks on it. As soon as the user clicks on the text field, the message should go off. Which among the following line of code should Anne choose? Option A, input with pattern. Option B, input with placeholder. Option C, input with message. Option D, input with temp message. The correct answer is option B, input with placeholder. 
Let's move to the next question. Question 16. What will be seen on the screen when sample.html, having the following content, is open in a web browser? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, high user is displayed in browser. Option B, high is displayed in browser. Option C, blank page is displayed in browser. Option D, user is displayed in browser. The correct answer is option B, high is displayed in browser. Let's move to the next question. Question 17. Look at the below code snippet. Which of the following is correct with respect to above code? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A. Poster attribute cannot be used with audio element. Option B. Source tag cannot be used within audio element. Option C. Audio slash MP3 is not a valid type for audio element. Option D. Audio slash OGG is not a valid allowed audio type in HTML. The correct answer is option A. Poster attribute cannot be used with audio element. Let's move to the next question. Question 18. Sam, a web developer, is working on an existing web application. He wants to ensure his web page display appropriately on different user devices. Which of the following meta element will help him to achieve this requirement? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, option B, option C, option D. The correct answer is option D. Let's move to the next question. Question 19. Look at the below code. To improve machine readability for this web page, which of the following can be used in place of div id equals 1 in the above code? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, header element. Option B, a side element. Option C, article element. Option D, footer element. The correct answer is option D, footer element. Let's move to the next question. Question 20. Look at the below code snippet. What happens when a user tries to submit the form? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A. Form gets submitted to first.jsp. Option B. Form gets submitted to second.jsp. Option C. Form doesn't get submitted. Option D. Form gets submitted to second.jsp. Let's move to the next question. Question 20. Look at the below code snippet. What happens when a user tries to submit the form? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, form gets submitted to first.jsp. Option B, form gets submitted to second.jsp. Option C, form doesn't get submitted. Option D, error message prompt saying, no such attribute form action. The correct answer is option B, form gets submitted to second.jsp. Let's move to the next question. Question 21, Jack. A web designer is modifying an existing web page. In this context, he wants to give importance to the word Bangalore while improving the machine readability of code. How can he achieve it? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, by using bold formatting for the word Bangalore. Option B, by using italic formatting for the word Bangalore. Option C, by using strong emphasis on the word Bangalore. Option D, by using emphasis on the word Bangalore. The correct answer is option C, by using strong emphasis on the word Bangalore. Let's move to the next question. Question 22. Smith, a front-end developer, has a requirement to incorporate the Twitter notifications page in his new web application. How can he achieve this requirement? Option A, by creating hyperlink to Twitter notification web page using link element. Option B, by creating bookmark to Twitter notification web page using link element. Option C, by incorporating Twitter notification web page using iframe element. Option D, by redirecting user to Twitter notification web page. The correct answer is option C, by incorporating Twitter notification web page using iframe element. Let's move to the next question. Question 23. Consider the table shown below. Fill in the missing code snippets to achieve the same relationship. 
This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, collapse equals two, row span equals two. Option B, row span equals two, col span equals two. Option C, col so far equals two, collapse equals two. Option D, roll equals two, rows equals two. The correct answer is option B. Rows equals two, col span equals two, colaboli. Let's move to the next question. Question 24. Which of the below requirements web developer has to consider while developing a professional web application? Option A, accessibility. Option B, security. Option C, functionality. Option D, all the given options. The correct answer is option D, all the given options. Let's move to the next question. Question 25. Look at the below code written in the sample.html file. What happens when the user clicks on the image? Assume that all files are in the same folder. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A. sec.html is opened. Option B. 3.html is opened. Option C. Nothing happens, and sample.html is still displayed to the user. Option D. sec.html is opened, but with errors. The correct answer is option A. sec.html is opened. So guys, as you can see, we've successfully solved all 25 questions of the assessment. Now to finish this section, just click on the proceed to section button at the bottom. And the final step, to get your result and finish the assessment, just click on the finish test button. Congratulations. You can now see the results on the screen. We've successfully passed the assessment with full marks. We answered all 25 questions correctly and scored 25 out of 25, which means a perfect 100% score. Great job if you followed along. Now you're all set to clear your own assessment too. If this video helped you, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more assessment solutions, and share this with your friends who are also preparing. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning!